What is happening guys, it's Alan here from the Dangleberries with Disrupt Gaming and I'm bringing you a brand new video over here on their channel. So what we're going to take a look at today guys is some of the best angles that you can use moving through 2020. Now for some of you veteran players or some who watch my channel, you might know some of these angles already but I'm hoping by the end of the video that you might learn something new or remember something that you might have forgotten about in the past. So without me talking anymore, let's dive in and check out the first angle. So for our first angle today guys I have a disgusting spawn peak that you can use here over on bank located in the ATMs area in the front lobby of the map. Now what you need to do here guys it's very straightforward is by breaking the top of the bush on that pot and then hitting the pot once if you lay prone in between the countertop on the left and the pot on the right you'll be able to hop up on top of that pot. Now once you're up there, by breaking the window, you'll be able to see out towards the parking front spawn where you can catch enemies completely off guard with that easy early kill in the round. Now I will be showing this from both perspectives here and a clip from when I actually used it in a game as well to check it out to see how good it was. And it really is so difficult to actually spot the person sitting up on that window ledge. You can see from my perspective here as I spawn in and I walk around the side of the security truck, I actually I could barely see him inside the window window. So taking a look at this first angle here on border, now this is a really straightforward one and it can be a little bit risky to use, but I've used it so many times and I've caught so many people off guard. By opening up a small section of the door on break room and by going around into CCTV, by standing up on top of the monitors, you can break a small hole in the top of the wall and watch that break room door. Now people coming in from the valley spawn will be peeking in there to see if there's anyone sitting and holding inside CCTV and you can catch them completely off guard and get that early pick pick in the round. Moving on to the next angle on border and this also acts as a hiding spot as well but it is an amazing angle that you can use inside the workshop. Now this is the one that everyone is always asking me about. How do you get up there? Why is it so hard to do? And I promise you guys this is one of the easier spots to actually get into. Now what you have to do here is you have to make sure to impact the panel on the back wall and shoot the paint can off the shelf up above. Now what you do then is you vault up on top of the workbench and then you need to get onto the grinder in front of you. Now you just need to move slightly to the left and then push up on top of the grinder and as you're looking towards the shelf start to move slightly backwards on the grinder and you'll start to see the vault prompt showing up. Moving over onto coastline for this next angle guys and this is an insane angle that you can get from the roof all the way down through VIP floor down into the kitchen. Now what you need to do on the roof here guys is blow open the floor just inside the doorway of VIP and by standing up on the little metal vent and running onto the side of the ledge of courtyard you can look down through the metal beams in VIP into the kitchen. Now where you'll be looking here is into the rotation part in kitchen where a lot of people like to hold the angle behind the bomb inside server and move and rotate between kitchen and service you can stop that rotation by holding that angle up there and you can also pick off enemies from other areas of the kitchen from the safety of the roof I will be showing this here obviously from multiple perspectives to see what it's like for a defender sitting down inside the kitchen and how difficult it is for them to see where these sh shots are coming from now they would assume that there's someone up inside VIP but in fact you will be on the roof and you can put the defenders under immense pressure while the rest of your team push towards the objective So 
So moving on over onto theme park for these next couple of angles, the first of which is located on the west side of the map outside the storage room window. Now what you need to do here is you can vault up on top of the ledge and then by moving around to the left you'll be able to get another vault up on top of the vending machine. Now by standing up on top of the little ridge of the cat's head you'll be able to peek over the top of the metal fencing and see right into storage window. Now this next angle on theme park is also outside and again a very simple one. By lying down in front of the metal fence you'll be able to see through a very small gap in that fence and see all of the windows on the side of the building. Now enemies who are trying to catch that spawn peak will not be able to see you and you'll be able to catch that early pick in the round and stop that spawn peak. Moving over onto Villa for this next angle guys and this one is located on the first floor inside the library. And what you can do here is by getting up on the armchair in the corner and running to the small little side table, if you push up on top of the small owl, you'll be able to run across onto the lamp next to you. Now from there you'll be able to see over the top of that white shelf out towards the lobby entrance. This is a perfect little angle to catch any enemies off guard who are pushing it into the building. Now a little extra tip for getting into this spot guys, when you're trying to get onto the owl you need to make sure that you're moving in a kind of a fluid motion out towards the right and then back into the left. You'll feel yourself elevate up on top of the owl and then you'll be able to run onto the lamp. Moving on to our final two angles here guys and we're over on to chalet for these ones. Now the first one is located on the outside near the cliffside spawn and it is an amazing encounter for anyone who's trying to peek out that office door onto the balcony. Now what you can do here is by vaulting up onto the first rock there is a vault prompt on the left side of the second higher rock that you can get up on top of. Now once you're up here you can see the office window, you can also see the window into the front lobby all the way through to double doors into dining and you can also watch the bomb if someone's planted it in the corner of the garage site to the left. And the final angle for today guys is a really straightforward one but this is probably one of the most effective spawn peaks that I've always been using. This one is located in the front lobby of Chalet right by that big double window. By breaking the very bottom left corner you will leave a very small little slit in the window open and you'll be able to watch all the way up onto that cliffside spawn. Now it is so difficult to see this from the enemy's perspective and you'll see it from the example clip here that I'm showing that they literally had no idea that I was there. So that is it for the video today guys, I really do hope you enjoyed it. Now as I said at the start of the video, I'm hoping that you learned something from this video and it helps you improve as a player. Some of these angles you might know or might not have known, so I hope that you learned something from the video. Now if you want to see more tips and tricks here on the Disrupt channel, make sure to jump down into the comment section and let them know what you would like to see in the future and they will put it together for you. Now make sure to keep up to date on everything Disrupt is doing by following all their social medias, all the links will be down in the description. If you want to check out my channel, 
channel the link is also going to be in the description so make sure to go check that out as well if you'd like to see more tips and tricks for siege and until next time peace out